Good morning, everyone. It's Vegan Nirvana here. Today, I'm bringing to you guys a self-care slash ritual routine. Um, it's sort of something that I like to do on my days off from work or just the time that I usually have, like any extra time where I'm just lying around. I'll usually use these self-care type of um, rituals and things like that to take care of myself and just to rejuvenate from a long, long day's energy. Um, usually as an empath, I feel a lot of people's energy and it gets draining. So a lot of these things help me sort of just, you know, come back to, to me. So, um, I'm going to share those with you guys. And on top of that, I also have an additional what I eat in a day that I'm going to put in here. So as a vegan, I'm going to show you guys what I sort of eat throughout the day to also take care of myself because I do very well, um, uh, consider that a part of my self-care routine. So I'm super excited to let you guys know that this is my first collab video. Um, I am collabing with this beautiful human being. Her channel name is Herbivore Beauty and she's vegan like me. She likes yoga and spirituality and she meditates and all of that good stuff. All of the good stuff that I like to do. Um, we have a lot in common and I love her. She's just basically like a big ball of sunshine. I talked to her over Twitter and she's such a sweetheart and hopefully one day we can meet in person. But for now, yes, we are going to be collabing and um, yeah, so let's get right into the video. I'm going to have her video linked in the description box below. So just be sure to check that out and give her so much love because she deserves it. Thanks, you guys. If that's something that interests you, basically just stay tuned and let's get right into the video. Okay, so before I get into anything, I do want to apologize ahead of time because the lighting in my bathroom is very, very bad. And on top of that, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do live with two men, so please pardon the mess because it is a mess in here, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, not all men are messy. There are men who like to keep their areas clean and stuff like that, but most men do like um, to have sort of like a man cave sort of thing, so I guess they consider this their man cave. Anyways, so just pardon my bathroom, but basically what I wanted to show you guys before I get into it was my bamboo toothbrush. I, um, as a vegan, like to try to use sustainable products. I recently just bought this one and just got it in the mail, and I have had one before, but I think they're amazing. Um, they're biodegradable and BPA-free, and I just think it's so awesome, man, because it's like saving the planet one step at a time. But anyways, apart from my bamboo toothbrush, I do have, um, it's actually activated charcoal and um, coconut oil toothpaste, which is amazing. It's fluoride free, all natural, it's even gluten free, and it's mint flavor. We, me and my um, partner just ordered this offline. I think this will be great for whitening my teeth. Um, it's also very good for you, no chemicals added or anything like that, no additional additives. So. I'm pretty super stoked about that. I haven't tried this kind before, so I'm just gonna basically do a little test trial for you guys today. Wowee, look at that. Yikes. So for my face, I actually only clean my face with water, which a lot of people don't believe me, but it actually is why my skin stays so nice and clear. Um, it just makes common sense. Like, think about it. Um, your products are literally something that puts a coat of product over your face and clogs your pores. And it's actually what's causing your acne. So you can, I guess, take my advice if you want, but hot washcloth equals clear skin for sure. Hey guys, so we are currently in my backyard on our back deck. Please don't mind the background or the mess or anything because this house is like hundreds of years old. So, I mean, what can you do, you know? So, basically, this is one of my first tips that I like to use. As you guys know, in my last video, I did a manifestation ritual type thing. And a lot of that ties into my self-care. And so basically, this is going to have some of the same aspects. I'm not going to be using my incense because I'm just going to link that video down below for you guys to check it out if you want. Um, so basically what I like to do is meditate. Now meditation, there are so many different types of meditations. 
you can take it how you want basically it all depends on the person and their own practice I like to just sort of clear my mind um, I do have some sage that I like to burn in order to cleanse myself I usually do this inside sometimes just because it's less of a waste and it actually keeps the sage around me to clear the negative energy um, I have two of my favorite crystals you guys saw this in my last video on manifestation this is my quartz cluster and then I have this bluish gray celestite which is one of my favorite crystals it's a very very intuitive and psychic crystal so what I like to do is surround myself with my crystals um, I'm going to put one on both sides of myself just because it makes me feel more grounded and it makes me feel more of like my energy is sort of like surging in a bubble if that makes sense to you um, and then I like to take my sage and what I'll do is light it sage is something that you don't have to like completely light on fire you can sort of just give it like a simmery burn and you can get you know some of the smoke going you don't have to have like it doesn't have to be on fire so basically just get some of that going get some simmering sage and then I like to just kind of take the smoke around myself cleanse myself of negative energy and it feels so good to be outside doing this um, but I'm just clearing my space with the smoke sort of your typical sage practice and I'm going to set that over here hanging off of the edge don't want any fires obviously so be very cautious when using sage um, so after that, I usually do it a bit longer, but just for the sake of the video, I don't want to make this seem too long. So after that, I like to get myself in like a focused state of mind. Just sort of clear your mind and your body and your breath. Think of a white light. What I usually like to do is think of a white light coming down from the sun. This is when I'm outside doing my meditation or yoga. But I like to think of like a white light beaming down from like the sun in the universe and coming inside and just completely cleansing my chakras, letting everything flow. I picture myself just sitting. My thing like during meditation is I usually like to picture myself sort of on like the cliff of like a beautiful mountain in like summer or spring, um, sort of like a cliff. And just like with my legs crossed and just being while the breeze blows it's one of my most relaxed meditation um, tech, uh, tactics or whatever so just slowly breathe in so much energy right now the energy today is amazing I don't know what it is but it's just like super amazing um so basically after this I like to do some yoga that's my next tip so I'm going to get right into that for you guys
So with yoga, those are the few of the things that I like to do. Um, I showed just a few of my stretches that I usually do. I didn't do like a whole routine or anything because I'm not some yoga guru. I don't want to show something that I don't know like is proper technique. So with that being said, um, those are a few of my yoga stretches. Next, I'm going to get right into my what I eat in a day. So I'm going to show you guys my breakfast and then from then on, I'll show you what I usually like to eat throughout the day. So yeah, see you guys soon. So I got, forgot to mention another form of my own self-care. This is something I like to do and I consider it self-care. Not a lot of people would, but I like to water my garden because it helps me feel zen. So we are currently in my backyard um, and I'm about to water my garden for you guys so you guys can get a little sneak peek, I guess. I have some veggies and some herbs growing and I'm pretty excited for those because I plan on making some homemade essential oils which will be another awesome thing for my self-care routine. But anyways, let's get to watering the plants. So here's my garden, my little garden with my plant babies. I have my squash plant going in there. I had some kale right here, but as you guys can tell, the beaver in my backyard and the bunnies have been eating the kale, so pretty bummed about that, but that's okay. Um, so my bell peppers, I have some mint, cilantro, sweet basil, some little green beans going over here, and then I have my tomato babies, which have so many tomatoes growing. I'm super excited about that. And then I have some carrots growing, some beets. Um, I have a cucumber plant on the other side of this squash plant, but it sort of took over, so. But anyways, I like to water them. So I just sort of water over them. Oh look, you can see like a little rainbow where I'm like watering them at. That's pretty cool. But yeah, water my tomato plants. Water the squash, the cucumbers over here, but it's like super buried under the squash plant. My squash plant like literally took over, so. Yeah, so I'm just gonna water these and then we'll get right into the food. So I like to use this organic blue agave nectar. There's no artificial flavors or anything like that. Um, it's really good in oatmeal and you can sort of just drizzle it on top and use as much as you'd like. You guys, I'm so excited. I just made like the best oatmeal. Um, blueberry mango oatmeal with agave nectar. So excited. So the oatmeal is pretty good. Um, Pretty much, I'm just gonna eat this. Mm. And I'll keep you guys updated on what I eat next. All right guys, so I thought I'd just pop in and show you the afternoon snack I'm having. I am currently eating some watermelon, yum. So good. I love watermelon, man. It's like, how can you not like watermelon? But anyways, yeah. So, just a little snack for now. I'll be back later and show you what I'm having again. Alright, guys. So, this is another pop-in. I'm about to make some avocado toast, which is one of my all-time faves. Um, so, yeah. First, I'm going to toast it, and then I'm going to spread the avocado on and add probably some cumin and some of my favorite spices. Uh, let's get right into that. So the toast is done toasting and it's time to spread the avo. So 
So I'm adding some of this chili lime rub that I got from Aldi's. And here's the finishing product. I also added some pink Himalayan salt and some cumin. And yeah, so this is going to be my sort of mid, like, lunch snack, sort of, if you'd like to call it that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to dig right in, you guys. So yeah, I sort of just wanted to stop for a second and... Mm. So good. And so while I eat my avocado toast, I just wanted to sort of touch base on you guys about self-care and why it's so important to take care of yourself because if you don't have a day every um, now and then where you'll like basically relax and do yoga or things like that or whatever it is that you do to help yourself relax and take care of yourself, you will become very stressed which could lead to depression and all sorts of other ailments and you don't want that so it's very important and very key to take care of yourself um i for the most part used to struggle with depression which wasn't a fun time um i used to go through like things sort of like an emotional roller coaster um i've never been diagnosed but i do consider myself bipolar I have all of the symptoms, um, I get very angry at the snap of a finger and that's something I've been working on for years. Um, I used to feel super ashamed of it, which sometimes I still do, um, it makes me sad that sometimes I can't control it and I'm, I don't, I'm doing everything I can to avoid being medicated. I do not want medication because I don't agree with pills, I want to try the natural way. So as of right now, I'm trying to figure out a way to cope with my anger. And I've been doing so much better. I've grown compared to how much I used to be. And I think that I'm doing pretty well, actually. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, I've grown and flourished and I've changed a lot. Um, going vegan has changed my perspective on everything and all of the like little techniques I use for self-care for myself, like yoga and meditation, are some things that really help me. They really have changed me from the inside out. Um, it's much easier to control my anger. I still do have days where like, um, if me and my partner are like, you know, getting in like a typical argument or something like that, it can trigger me and I do um, react. But for the most part, I know how to control myself and to just ignore it. So yeah, um, I'm proud of myself and these practices have been helping me become a better me. And that's pretty much why I want to share them because I want you guys to take care of yourselves too and to basically grow to be the best you and tap into your higher self. I really want you guys to learn to make that shift. So just be sure to take care of yourselves. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves and please take my tips if you really think you need them. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in again. Um, I had lunch earlier and it was not the best footage so I decided that I was just going to leave it out. But I just had a um, mixed green salad with some raspberries, blueberries, some raspberry vinaigrette, and then I added some flax seeds on top for a little bit of crunch and flavor to it. But now I am going to have some pasta. Um, I have these veggie noodles that I just get from my local Walmart. Um, they are made with 25% puree from real carrots and tomatoes, little tomatoes, which like, how cool is that? Because that's sort of like a portion of your daily um, veggie intake that you should have. But anyways, yeah, so I'm going to make this pasta, and I'll pretty much just get right into that. Okay, so while the pasta's boiling, I just wanted to sort of stop and have a little talk again, a little chat in there. Um, basically, this video is about self-care, and I know that I've sort of let myself look a little crazy the whole time, and that's the thing, is I've been waiting for this point, because I know that a lot of you guys are going to ask why, and that's the point of this. I mean, this is a self-care ritual slash routine. Basically, what I'm doing is letting myself breathe and relax and just have like a comfy day. Like, I'm not worried about societal norms. I'm not stressing myself about, out about looking good for everyone. It's Self-care is letting yourself just be. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, and now I'm eating healthy for the day and just relaxing. Sometimes you just gotta let yourself relax. So while my pasta's cooking, I'm just going to add some garlic salt. I love garlic salt. It's amazing. I'm also going to add some chili lime rub from the seasoning dispenser that I bought from Aldi's because it's my favorite. I love the chili lime. Does anyone else ever cook their pasta too long to where it's like stuck to the pot? Because 
that's me. Why am I like this? Okay, so I'm about to drain the water out of my noodles and then I'm actually going to re-add some organic veggie stock because I feel it adds more flavor. It's weird. I know it's a process that most people don't usually do. They don't drain the water and then add another liquid and let it cook a little longer, but that's just how I like to make my pasta. So yeah, I'm gonna drain the water out and add the veggie stock. Currently adding the organic veggie stock. Yum. Okay guys, so the pasta's done. I was gonna do like this whole sauce thing and all that, but I just don't feel like it. I mean, I have veggie stock with a ton of veggies in it. The pasta in general is tomato and carrot pasta. So I decided I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast on top. This is Bob's Red Mill, um, one of my favorites. So yeah, we're just gonna add some nooch on the top and there we have our yummy cheesy and veggie pasta. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, guys, so I had my pasta. I just wanted to update on that. Um, this pretty much concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I did just want to throw one more tip out there that I usually do, and I usually do this before bed, is I will read a book. Right now I'm into Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur or whatever, however you pronounce that. Um, yeah, so I also write some affirmations before I go to bed that I can read for the next morning just to give my morning a boost, a positive boost. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much for supporting me and my channel and um, I'm just going to wrap the video up. As I always say, do a good deed today, spread some love and yeah, just peace and love, man. I love you guys. See you soon. Bye.